Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of The Hunt here on Borderlands Universe. Today we are on episode 15 I believe, which is pretty darn good actually. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, start off by doing what we've been doing uh, last episode, which was... That was a blue, thank you. Um, going through all the vending machines very quickly and uh, checking if we've got anything of the new, uh, I was going to say DLC then, the new weapons that have been added into uh, the loot pools of random drops. Uh, we'll also go through, I've just realised that last episode, I just remembered at the end of last episode when we found the bada boom in the vending machines and I said I was going to add some money in for myself um, so I can pick up weapons if I need them and uh, I forgot to do that so screw it who cares so I'm only going for weapon vending machines now actually I'm not going for uh, every single one in case that happens again and I've got no money because that will just depress me uh, obviously the weapons are ridiculously overpriced anyway um, normally vending machine uh, sorry class mods and shields aren't too bad but We'll just speed this up a little bit. So there's nothing in Crisis Scar, Outland Span Canyon, Outland Spur. So it's Pity's Fall next. Uh, we'll check all of these and then we'll head back to Concordia. And we're going to do a little bit of a cheat. Uh, that's all I'm going to say at the minute. We're going to do a little bit of a cheat. It's not really a cheat. It's uh, just compensating for something uh, that's happened lately in this game. But I'll explain all about that in a minute. Uh, I believe there is weapons vendors at... To Titan Industrial Facility. Yes, there is. Of course, there is. A new talking every time we come into this map is a huge pain in my digital arse. Wish you could shut her up. I've done all the missions. Um, where's next? Robot production plant. Not getting very lucky with these guys, are we? But it's all about persistence. Um, no, 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 yes. <sighs> Come on, give me one, please. I know it takes a lot more than this to find them, but uh, it'd be nice if one did pop up. No, yes. Buy a gun already. Holodome. I have been lucky, very lucky with the Holodome before actually. Many, many times have I uh, got drops on the Holodome vending machines actually in the Legendary run. But probably not today. No, nope, not today. Right, I believe there's only Nexus now in there. What am I doing? That's not the fast travel station. Is it the Nexus now? Is the only one? There's another. Oh no, deck 13 and a half. There is three. No, right, one more chance then, and then we'll head back and uh, sort a little issue out. Which has been annoying me for a while now because you should be able to get these items and you can't now. But I can't be bothered to remove them off the list, even though it would probably be much simpler. But I want to tick them off the list. They were on the list originally, so they're going to stay on the list and we're just going to uh, cheat it. Right, so let's head back to Concordia. So what the cheat was, well not the cheat, sorry, there was um, access at one point in the game to a little chest in Concordia called Moxie's Toy Chest or nicknamed Moxie's Toy Chest. We'll go and see it right now. Basically this was a mission 
reward. A bit like the one in Baldlands 2 where uh, Roland's um, armoury you could get into and open his chest in there. There was a box right there, a, uh, a uh, weapon chest, and you couldn't open it because it was a quest reward. But you could go round through Triton Flats, through the back door to Concordia, which is down here coming from that door there and it activated a glitch which would allow not only for the chest to appear but would allow for it to be opened you could grab the stuff out of it you could save and quit out and then you could do it again run round through that door down there up open it again you could farm that as many times as you want now the three items that you could get out of this chest were as follows if we can find them now Miss Box's Vibra Pulse, the Kiss of Death, and the Slammer. I have just <laughs> gibbed myself these three items. So what we're going to do for the start of this episode is we're going to pretend. We're going to imagine, guys. We're going to imagine. Let me just check that I'm recording uh, my sound. Yes, I am. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to sit back. And we're going to close our eyes. And we're going to visualise a chest appearing right there. We're going to go back in time. I'm going to take you on a journey back in time before the last big update that got rid of this. And we're going to just pretend that we are currently spawning in to the fast travel right here. Right guys, uh, next thing on the list then is, uh, there is a toy chest uh, in Concordia right there. Uh, it can't be opened unless you uh, actually take the back door to Concordia, um, head up the stairs and uh, for some reason that activates a glitch. By the way, I'm pretending that I haven't just explained what I'm doing here for those of you guys that thought, why is he telling us the same thing again? Right, we're pretending. Anyway, so yeah, so you go in the back door to uh, Miss Moxie's uh, place, head up the stairs, and there'll be a toy chest there. Now, I will warn you, sometimes this toy chest does glitch out and go invisible, but the items in there <laughs> are still valid for taking. So the three items are a laser called um, Moxie's Vibra Pulse, there is the Mo Kiss of Death and the Miss Moxie's Slammer, which are grenades and... Um, and... Uh, shields <laughs> lost my words there um, and uh, yeah they are all unique oh look there they are oh well for some reason the uh, the weapon chest isn't there but they're still there anyway so to cross off the list today we have the Miss Moxie's Vibra Pulse which to be fair was one of the best damn it I've got no space <laughs> I've got no space um, have I got anything I can throw away <sighs> things do not go oh, I'll tell you what I can do actually while I'm here Damn it, things are not going well at the minute. Well, at least we've activated that invisible chest and got our free items. Right, let's go on, because I want to keep items I pick up from now on, because we're going to start grinding them. That's another thing I meant to tell you as well. Right, let's stick that in there. Stick that in there. Mm, might keep that on me for now. I'm going to be picking half of these up anyway, so uh, it really doesn't matter if I keep them or not. Hmm, lots of shit to put away actually. I didn't realise I had this much, oh I want to keep that just in case. I didn't realise I had this much crap on me. Well, I've got lots of stuff to grind. I'm gonna keep them. That can be sold. Hmm. Right, that's sorted out a shitload of space actually. There you go. Right, so guys, as I was saying, um, we've got these three things now from uh, 
the glitch that's not pretend and set up in any way even though I've showed you everything I've done uh, so yeah to add to the list is the Miss Moxie's Viper Pulse which is a nice um, very very good laser weapon actually we've also got the explosive kiss of death which isn't as nice as the Viper Pulse really it's uh, it's not bad but not really used it very much and uh, the Miss Moxie's Slammer which is a, uh, a booster shield as well which uh, again not brilliant but uh, hey there you go three things to add to the list straight away oh I've got some beats going down at the minute go on son he's a he's a mover uh, so yeah there you go that is the first thing added and don't worry I won't be doing this with them every single thing it literally is just because um, that they were on the list originally because they were farmable through that glitch and um, since this series started like I start, first started filming it back in October there has been a patch that took that away so that is why we've done that uh, next thing to just tell you very quickly as well is while I'm getting ammo um, the list has been updated for the pre-sequel I've done that just a minute ago actually and what I've done is I've added every single legendary now that you can get in this game uh, before it was just the farmable uh, the, well the boss farmable legendaries uh, but since we got the Kala, Kala whatever you want to call it in the last episode um, from that vending machine I thought well we can get things from vending machines in the grinder now so that will add aspects to the hunt as well so every time I get a couple of legendary weapons uh, I'm gonna stick them in the grinder and see if we can get a new item to cross off the list so that's made this series you know giving us a little bit more something to do so we're uh, quite happy at that right let's go on with today's episode then three things off the list already so I'm only looking to uh, to get one more item at the minute maybe today might be, uh, might be able to get two, we'll see, but uh, we're going to be going back to the Veins of Helios and farming Lazlo and Claplek today, see if we can get them to drop uh, an item. I'm guessing the freezes might come first, but uh, hey, if we can get the Eddie, that's just as good, uh, if not better actually, so uh, yeah, that is our farm of today. So we've got the Slammer, the Kiss of Death and the Viper Pulse already. So that's a nice amount of uh, stuff off the list. So I just thought, you know what? Let's go and uh, finish the job in, uh, well, at least. Where the hell am I going? I took the wrong uh, the wrong left. Oh, you can't get through there, can you? Took the wrong left, guys. I meant to take this one here and then the left. <laughs> Well, it's a good job we've got these three things to cross off the list today because uh, by the time the half an hour of the episode comes to an end, I'll probably have just made it to the veins of Helios. No, nothing at all. Right. Let's go through them. See if we can uh, repeat the success of uh, Egghood, actually. Two runs in the last episode for Egghood, which was pretty damn good, really. So yeah, if you, uh, if you take a look at the list at the end of the episode anyway, you'll see what I've done to it. Um, it literally is just a, uh, a whole section of legendary, every legendary in the game now. It's in the, the unique section, so it's on the first pre-sequel list. And uh, it just says uh, any loot source, uh, pre-sequel legendaries, any loot source or something like that. Uh, and that just means that we can get it only from the grinder or random world drops or chest finds or anything like that, vendor finds. But that helps us out a little little bit with uh, just keeping things going. Right, it looks like he's fighting away at... Wow, looks like Claplek is absolutely launching him. So, I want to spawn some people. I want to spawn some people, please. I suppose we could just take Claplek out, maybe. Ow! No, we're going to go down here if we're not careful. Unfreeze me. Unfreeze me. You git. Come on then, Laszlo. You ain't getting away from me this time. Let's get Claplek down as well. 
Well, that went quite well, actually. Thought that was going to take me uh, a lot longer. Oh, didn't mean to pick that up. Wow. We used a lot of ammo then. And didn't really get anything good from it. Oh, you're here now, are you? He does just drop the freeze easy, doesn't he? He doesn't appear somewhere after he's died. I'm... No, he, do... he does just drop it. I I'm... I'm... know he does. I don't know why I'm dying myself here, but... It's not one of the uh, the easiest uniques to get, actually. So, uh, we'll have to just stick with it. <clears throat> I'm going to sit back a little bit and relax while I'm doing this, actually. It's not too... Uh... Don't have to sit too close to the screen. Right, let's go in for another run then. Down the rabbit hole. Ow, didn't mean to do that. Oh, actually, whoa, that was not a good idea. Just while I saw it, but I'm going to get taken out now. Just wanted to grab a bit of ammo. See how we are with the T4 SRC. Only 448 rounds, that is not a lot. Especially when Laszlo is a bit of a tank. Let's fly straight onto our pipe and hope we don't fall. That was really close. I don't think I'll try that one again. We'll shoot all these. I'm not bothered about SMG ammo, but we could do with some pistol ammo. Is that giving us any? Yes, that's giving us some. That's quite good news. Here we go then. Them two are fighting already. Let's hope he just keeps his attention on him and not on me. Here we go then. Right, we'll go for clap like if we have to. Oh, he's gone. No, that's not what we want. Is that him there? It is. I don't know where he's gone. He's there. Oh, you are taking the mickey, aren't you? That's all my T4SR ammo gone now. You can shut off. Right, ammo, desperately. Thought I just saw something blue then, but I obviously didn't. Look at that guy's just gone chill again. Just like, ah, oh, sod it. I'm not taking that bitch on. No ammo at all. Oh, there's two down here though. What we like for T4SR. Back up to 500, that's fine. If we can keep it at that, I'll be happy. Right, let's check Claplek. Nothing by the looks of it. Understandable. Okay, two runs down. So we're not going to repeat the look up we have with Ed, uh, Egg Hood, but we are still three uniques up. Which is fine by me. Always said now, nearly every episode, as long as I cross one or two off, I'm be happy at that. That's three at the minute, so I'm not going to complain. Right. Wow, that seemed to be a really, really long ass jump mat. Oh god. I, uh, that was actually perfect. Used a bit too much ammo on that then. There we go. Come on. You two start killing each other. Oh, he's right outside the door. Don't want you. Oh, there's a boil there. Oh, he's gone up. I know that'll do. Oh, 
Oh, he's God, he's such a disappearing expert. Don't think he's dropped out though. That was a good kill that time though. Very good kill, I'm happy at that. Didn't take very long at all. Wow, this loot just went everywhere. Please don't say that's Laszlo. I don't think it is, but... No, it's not, it's just a boil worker. Actually, let's pick these two up and then we'll just check one more time for his loot. I didn't see anything drop out of him, but you never know. Can I get on there? Yes, I can. No, there's no loot here. Quite stingy with his freeze easy, actually, I think. Gonna get me? Nah, you're not. <laughs> Sucker. Right, come off. This time now. Well, that wind sounded right weird then. Does that hurt if I jump in it? Okay. <laughs> I thought it'd hurt me. I didn't know it. Oh. Now that might be a quicker way to get to... Uh, where are we? Are we actually inside? Oh, we are! Go away! Wow, shortcut! Wow, it's not much of a shortcut. I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Uh, can I get out of there? No, I can't. Oh, there's Claplet, though. Still technically a bit of a shortcut. Get away from that. People? Laszlo's going to be hard as hell now though. But at least it'll give us time to recuperate a little bit. I can't believe that. I mean it's a big massive waste of money. But if you haven't got a lot of money. You can just jump in that every time. Right Laszlo's spawned. Hey I suppose it'll be easier as well. Because you'll be able to take these guys out. Like that. Get some serious tombstone on the go. Let's get some serious tombstone on the go. And then go, hello Laszlo. Boom, down he goes. Just like that. Ow. Screw off. Ah, <sighs> right. Joe, I'm just going to trial that method next time. Going to trial it. One more ammo case and then we'll try it again. Like I said, I know I'm losing money, but wow, that was so much quicker. Right, new method of farming. Here we go. So what we do is we go up here, go, see ya. We respawn inside. Yes. And then it's just a simple case of going up here, finding Claplek. Who should be there? Yes, he is. So what we do is we just find someone to kill. And then we go right in for the kill on Claplek. Who drops absolutely squish all. We'll keep the tombstone up though. go and then Laszlo should be through here somewhere there he is don't go there we go and he's down that uses a lot more ammo than we was using though a lot more ammo go away shouldn't be using these now 
should be saving my T4 SR ammo. Right, let's go away. I'm not fighting you. You bitch. Ow, go away. Beautiful. Back up to 500. I am happy with that. 25 minutes in. I'm only going to do two more runs, maybe three. Actually, now I've got a new quicker method. I think, uh, I think three would be better. I'm honestly going to use this method every time now. It's just so much better. You don't have to wait for any of them bloody doors to open. You don't have to do anything like that. So, what I want to do is try and conserve a little bit of T4SR ammo though. So, we'll get Tombstone on the go. And then we'll come round here. Do that with him. Not wanting to get rid of that Eddie, are you, mate? We'll wait for our... Uh, showdown to come back but while we do we'll get the tombstone on the go no that's not good enough I want tombstone back please that should be Laszlo, it is Don't know where he's gone, but there we go. That should be him down. Oh no, that's definitely him down now. Is that it? No. What a stingy gear. And you want a bit of ammo? I only want ammo. Go away. Please let me up. Right, there we go. He definitely didn't drop the freeze easy, did he? What's the blue? He's a sniper. Yes, it is. Right. Freeze. Right, that's one more run then. Let's go for two. Two final runs. We've got the method now, though. And we'll have to finish this next episode if we can't get it to uh, if we can't get it to drop. And I will check that Laszlo just definitely does drop the freeze easy. It's on my list, so it must be. I did research all of these pretty much before I uh, started, but you never know what's happened in updates or patches or oh no, if it missed me uh, me cue there. Right, here we go then. What we want is to get up here. You've got a barrier, you haven't. Don't even need to use showdown actually. There we go. Still nothing from him. Right, and then them boils are there, so what I'm going to do there is get Laszlo in sight. Should be in sight now. Oh, I've got iced. Now nah, that's not gone right. But it's not bad. Because he's right there, but I can't hit him. Let's get this guy. Where is he? There he is. You can't run away from me for long, sunshine. Now where's this bloody gun that you keep going on about dropping? 
penalty, even if he doesn't drop the freeze easy, which I'm pretty sure he does. This isn't a waste of time really because well, he's a little bit, but we are going after the uh, the Eddie as well. So uh, I'm quite happy to to continue farming until we get the Eddie. But if not, who cares? Right. Let's go in for one more run then. One more run and then we can end the episode. Bit disappointed we didn't get anything to drop at the minute, but it's one of them things. One of them things. Patience. At least we got the blow five pretty quickly. That'll uh, tick me over for at least an episode. Mm. Definitely one more run as well because I have just finished... Well, just about to finish my last mouth of cup of tea and I can't farm without a cup of tea. I've said this many times now. Right, you are naughty. Go away. Anyone else want a bit of tombstone? No? Just this guy then. Oh, I've lost my tombstone. That is not good. That's better. No Eddie again? Damn it. Where's the Eddie at? Right, let's try not to let Laszlo get away from us this time. Right, he's spawned in, he's there. You are there, that's perfect. You stay there. Let's get a bit more tombstone and then let's not let him get away this time. Oh wow, that was very good. Some loot flew down there, but it's only crap. Non bueno. Right, do you know what? I've got a flipping lucky feeling about the next episode, uh, the next run. Of course I've just made that up and I have no feeling whatsoever, but I'm going to say I've got a lucky feeling about the next run. So we'll do one more run and that is definitely it then. I just don't know when to give up. But, you never know. And if we do get something on this run then I'll look like a right psychic, won't I? Bordland's guru. He knows all. <laughs> well, I certainly know how to farm these guys a lot quicker now. Too pipey here. <laughs> Even if it has cost me about three million pound. Here we go then. This is the run. I know it. Actually, I want to be over the other side while I'm doing this. Get down. I'm sure I saw orange then. It might have just been all these colours at once coming out, but... Oh. It was, it was just the money I think, but wow, it flashed in my face and I'm sure I saw orange. But obviously, flipping not. That's a shame. Have we ended up with 600 rounds of T4SR ammo? That's pretty damn good actually, I'm not going to complain at that. Right. Laszlo, you have appeared. Damn it, I was a bit close actually. Is he down? I think I got absolutely wrecked him then. But he hasn't dropped anything for us at all. What a git. So guys, unfortunately, no more additions to the drops on uh, today's episode. Um, in Veins of Helios. So we'll start the next episode in here. Make sure we get something good. And uh, then... 
we'll uh, we'll move on to something else, and then I think we'll head back to uh, maybe Borderlands one or two after that as well. Keep uh, keep switching and changing so things don't get boring. Uh, but yeah, anyway, for now, I just thought I'd give uh, Eggwood a random run. You never know. Let's get some tombstone. And uh, if he drops the bloody blowfly, I'm going to be well annoyed. No, he hasn't. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Really hope you enjoyed another episode. And uh, yeah, we got the Slammer, the Viber Pulse, and the Kiss of Death, at least at the beginning of the episode. So, can't really complain. Three things off the list, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can get that uh, that 3DD1.E and the Freeze Easy before we move on to something else next. But for now, thank you for watching everyone, really hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys for episode 16 next.